pulled him even. Come on, Jeff. You both can go ahead and go to jail, not me. If we're going to jail, let's go for a reason. The ornery tadpoles. Take it easy, Fuzzy. What's the lieutenant? trying to nail him back at Fort Culver. Yeah, we've been blamed for a lot of things in our time. Most of them we didn't do. Now we're blamed for a murder by the man who was murdered. Well, can't prove Lieutenant Morrison we're innocent. Maybe we can prove to Aunt Mary. Why, well, there's not a sheriff living that'd give us a chance to prove anything. Say, maybe the lieutenant was going to Aunt Mary's wedding. But Lieutenant Morrison is still going to that wedding. First, you'd better dig a grave. Dig a grave? You, you mean you're going to... No, Fuzz, just the body. From now on, I'm Lieutenant Morrison. We had to shoot that lieutenant all over again. What do you mean you had to shoot him over? I thought you boys got him at Fort Culver. So did I, but there he was in the stagecoach with that George Fremont fellow. Were you sure you got him this time? Oh, sure, I'm sure. Didn't we, boys? All right, give me the identification. Well, I'm going to tell you, boss, I didn't... Come on, come on. I didn't have time to get him. The sheriff came just as going to take him away from him. Well, you bubbling fool. My plan isn't worth two cents without those identifications. Howdy, man. Hello, Sheriff. Things were so quiet around, I thought I'd drop over for a little game of cards. Yeah, I'm glad you came. That's he's pretty law mind. Well, that's because we've got a good sheriff. Turtle, haven't you got something to do? Yeah, boss. Come on, fellas. Well, Sheriff, I guess you're getting all set for Mary Todd's wedding. You bet I am. Say, the whole town will turn out. Reckon uh, George Fremont will be coming in on the stagecoach. I'll be here most any minute now. But Fremont isn't traveling by stage. In fact, he's here now. At Mary Todd's ranch. Hey, uh, Bill, don't you think you've sort of taken a chance in personating that lieutenant? No, I don't think so, Jeff. Yeah, we, we ought to drift out of here. The lieutenant accused me of shooting him before he died. I got to prove different. See you boys in town. Uh, 
I hope he's got a rabbit's foot with him. like trouble. the billing. Yeah, and I wonder what happened to the stagecoach. Sheriff, there, there's, uh, there's been a double murder. Murder? Yes, sir. I was on my way from Fort Culver to attend my aunt's wedding. We were attacked by Ben. This way. Who's that? I don't know, sir. There was nothing to identify the man. Some of you men take care of the body. Howdy, Dad. Now, how do you do? I didn't recognize you first. Must be something special to bring you into town. You on a furlough? Yes, in a way. As a matter of fact, I've been thinking of resigning from the Army. How come? Well, to tell you the truth, I think that my Aunt Mary may need my protection. Uh -huh. Aunt Mary's getting married right away. She'll have a husband to protect her. 
That's right. However, I wouldn't let that worry me too much. My Aunt Mary's got enough money to support me for the rest of my life. Well, that's stooping mighty low, ain't it? A lot of people in this town would stoop a lot lower for Aunt Mary's money. Speaking for the good people of this town, I resent that. Resent all you like. Kind of surprised to hear you talk that way, Ted. You got a lot of surprises up my sleeve, Sheriff. Who was that? Why, don't you remember? That's Milt Crawford, the Justice of the Peace. Oh, sure, sure. Imagine my forgetting that. He's been taking care of your aunt's finances for quite a spell. Oh, he has. From the way he acted, you'd think that I was trying to retire on his money. <laughs> yeah, I guess I'd better be getting out to the ranch. You know, Aunt Mary's marriage is going to create quite a stir in this town. You bet it is. Say, Sheriff, can I borrow a horse? Why, sure. Come on over here and see. It's right. Thank you. There you are, Lieutenant, and give my regards to your Aunt Mary. I will, Sheriff. I'll be very glad to see her. Girls. So you killed the lieutenant all over again. Well, from the looks of it, he has nine lives. That's right, boss. Suppose you let me do the thinking. Now, we're going through with the wedding just as I planned. That gives you until tomorrow to get rid of Ted Morrison. Do you understand? Get out. Billy's horse. Yeah, but where's Billy? Jeff? I, I got a kind of a sickening feeling inside of me. Yeah, me too. Poor Billy, he, he's too young to die. You know, Fuzz, if, if we could just find his body so we could give him a decent burial. Yeah, that's uh, all my fault. How come? Well, remember those fellows that chased us from the cavalry? Yeah. Nothing would have happened to Billy if I hadn't have thought I was shot and we could get away and... and Billy wouldn't have got mixed up in that lieutenant's murder. I'm a... low-down tadpole. I'm a slimy worm. Yeah. I'm a no-account buzzard. I'm a sneaking coyote. Why, I ought to be put in a cage full of lions and tigers and let them tear me apart, bit by bit. Jeff? Kick me. No, Fuzzy, what's the use? Go on! No. I insist! I'll see who it is, Mary. All right, George. Well, what do you want? I'm uh, Ted Morrison, Lieutenant. Lieutenant Morrison? Yes, that's right. Is that you, Ted? Hello, yes, Aunt Mary. I'm so glad you're here. Well, Aunt Mary, I traveled 5,000 miles to see you happy. Oh, uh, Ted, uh, this is uh, George Fremont. Mr. Fremont, how to do, sir? Uh, I'm glad to know you. How's the Army, Ted? Oh, it's, it's fine, Aunt Mary, except that I've been thinking of resigning. Resigning? Yes, you see, I thought you might need some help around here. Ted, George will be here 